Hi, it's 1557. I'm Zerfall, and we're headed southbound on 6. We need to turn left right away. We're heading to the highway to help Officer Morale out. We're going to turn left again here. And we're going to have to turn right onto the on-ramp. What? Oh, I missed it. Oh, wait. No, there we go. And let's save this quick in case I mess it up. Alright. Oh. Up ahead you see a black and white pulled off to the, off the freeway along with a detained vehicle. You slow and pull to the side. It's 16.14. Let's see. Take a look at the plate. Well, you know what? We don't really need that because Morel's already taking care of this stuff for us. But let's find out what we got to do. Okay, boss man, you handle it. Why was the violator refusing to sign the ticket? Who knows? Jeez. First I get this stupid cow and now I have to deal with you too. This policy about calling a supervisor for failure to sign sucks. Look, I don't need you. I'm taking it downtown. No, you're not. You're going to stand right here until I have a chance to talk to the violator. Let's see what she has to say. Looking at the young lady, you see that she's pregnant and near, nearly full term. You introduce yourself to the woman and say, Your signature on the citation is not an admission of guilt. Ma'am, you... I don't care. You think I'm afraid of a stupid ticket? If it was a check for $10,000, I wouldn't sign that for that witch over there. I can't believe the LPD would allow someone like her to patrol the streets. What a waste of tax money. She's rude and abrasive, abusive, insulting. I refuse to sign a ticket for anyone who calls me a fat girl. Would you please reconsider and sign the citation? Hell no! Take me to jail! What should I do with this lady? All right, Morals. The violator said you were abusive and rude. Why do I have a hard time... Why don't I have a hard time believing that? Look, Sarge. It's obvious the lady's hysterical. She'd pop off at you if you looked at her funny. She's belligerent, hostile ever since I stopped her. She's begging for a night in the jail. So, what are you going to do, boss man? All right. Incarcerate, take her to jail, Pat. Signature. I'll witness her failure to sign. Wisely and correctly, you write. Refusal to sign. Jeez, where'd you get your training? Charm school? Just let her walk all over you, don't you? Why don't you? Oh, well. Let's take off. And actually, we're going to save it. And continue on our way. Or I need to click it. And you got to press the keys to start driving. And so the way this works is um, if you get off the off ramp right away, right there. Um, you trigger the cutscene right away, but we can get ourselves some free points by driving up down the freeway a bit until we get some uh, traffic violators. So we can just bust out 100 kilometers or 100 miles an hour. Up ahead, you see a slow car impeding traffic in the fast lane. So it's not that hard because you automatically slow down when you're behind it. I would turn on my siren here. I gotta speed up a bit. Siren. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now we need to move up a little more. Let's get in there. Whoop. Slow down. Can we pull them over now? Oh, 
All right, let's try it. Maybe right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. There we go. Oh man, look at that sweet ride. Oh, I missed the time. What time was it? Frick. All right, we need to restore the game. And when we're back here, we'll be back here. If you lose that time, you can't write your ticket. It's 1718. All right, we're going to save it again real quick because there are several ways you can die. First off, if we try to walk up to the car this way... Oh, shoot, man. We scream like a girl. Smart cops knows that you never approach a detained vehicle from the driver's side. Better crack open that officer's manual and bone up on the correct procedures. Is he coming on to us? All right, so let's check out his license plate. Let's 22776. And let's walk around the right way this time. Once you get far enough around, you can just click here and Sunny will go the rest of the way properly. Sir, I pulled you over because you were driving too slow in the fast lane and traffic was back up behind you. And we request this stuff. What you talking about, man? You guys just always want to hassle me. Say, I say, you can check out my ride. I have a brand new small gala device. Just don't lean on my new paint job. After checking the registration, you hand it back to him. He says, You pigs are all the same, man. Let's, uh, what we got here. Peter access card. This is Juan Ruins driver's license, and it's 434301. We might not need that, but we might, um, because we can stick his license in our machine and it will automatically get the information. But what we need, other than his information, let's grab the card, is using the plate ID, we can put in, what was it, 2277? Six. So the vehicle ID is 88996. Um, but I don't think we actually need that. Oh, well, we have it just in case. Go to form nine here. This is all filled out. It was 17, 18, and the vehicle code is the code of the violation. So he's going too slow. Um, the violation code is 21654. And it prints us up a ticket. We can grab that. Can we put them together? No. Okay, let's uh, get out. Walk back around the proper way so we don't die. Can we just talk to him to give it to him? After handing the ticket and his license to Mr. Ruins, he says, Aye! Man, you pigs make me want to puke, man! I'll see you in people's court, man! Judge Wapner will take care of you, S.A. And you have a nice day, sir. Def definitely time for Wapner. So now that we're done that, we can start our car back up and crank it to the max, because we have to get all the way across the highway before someone will talk to us again. We don't need to necessarily do this, but I mean, I think it's I think it's nice to see the uh... oh, who's that? 
Wow, this guy's going really fast. Let's catch up to him. He decided not to pull over the vehicle, apparently. Okay. That was actually pretty easy. What's up next? Whoa, that Mercedes must be speeding. This guy's going really fast. Let's uh, turn our siren on. Whoa, good thing he pulled over. It was right before the end of the speed limit. Or freeway. 1843, don't miss that. Because you can't check your watch after you do that. So, uh, let's go around to the front and talk to this person. We still haven't had a Miss Hots. Whoa! Good lord, where'd you come from? You must have fell out of the sky, man, because I never saw you. Sir, I need your driver's license and registration, please. Do you know why I stopped you? I know, I know, I was speeding. I had to do it, man. See, I'm on my way to this beautiful, beautiful constru constructed female. Try to picture it, officer. She's got these legs. Mm, have mercy. They go all the way up. <laughs> See, it was taking way too long to get to her house. Another ten minutes, and I wouldn't have been able to drive at all, officer, if you know what I mean. I'm sure you wouldn't want a man in my condition to be driving around causing accidents, would you? I was just trying to get off... Uh, the road, I mean. Man, he was a fast talker. So, now that we got his stuff, we can go back to the computer here. And we don't need to punch in all his registration information and stuff. Because we didn't have to do it with the last guy. Let's just get his license. Whoops. I might as well save it. Let's just grab his license. Take it in. So in here, we saw him at, what was the time? I have 18.43 written down. And the vehicle code for speeding is vehicle code 22349. We'll get ourselves a ticket. And we gotta go talk to this guy. No, don't walk the wrong way, Sonny. Alright, there we go. I don't know why we can't just hand it to him from this side, but we gotta walk around. I'm sorry, Mr. Hangley. I sympathize with your problem. Well... Oh, I will. Man, he's getting late tonight. All right, so there should be one more type of um, pullover to do. I think there's three types. They kind of happen randomly. Oh, we see a car up ahead weaving. Let's uh, turn on our siren. It's a good thing we. It's a good thing we automatically slow down when uh, we were gonna crash into him. Are you gonna turn? Are you gonna pull over, buddy? Finally, this guy's driving like a maniac. 1905. All right, let's uh, see who's driving this hatchback. You seem to be driving a little radically. I need to see your driver's license. He fumbles through his wallet getting his license, and you think to yourself. He looks drunk. Have you been drinking, sir? 
Let's say, officer, what do you say we polish off a uh, bottle of bourbon together? You think to yourself, if I continue inhaling the pollution this man is exhaling, my lungs are worse than the ozone layer. Wah, wah. 90s. Let's talk to him again. Would you please step out of the car, sir, and perform a field sobriety test? What? Whatever you say, officer. All right, let's see how he manages. Hope he doesn't fall off the freeway. Sir, I want you to follow my finger with your eyes from side to side. Okay, he says. Oh. Eh? 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 What's going on? Holy smokes, you think to yourself. This poor guy's plowed. Obviously, this man's too drunk to be driving. Ooh, nasty, you got on our shoe. Yuck. All right. Sir, based on the test I've given you and the puke all over my shoes, it's obvious you're intoxicated, no condition to drive. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. All right, so let's um, grab our handcuffs and cuff them. Sir, I have to take him to custody for driving under the influence. And let's give him a little pat down here. Please step over to the patrol car. That wasn't much of a pat down, was it? Let's get back in the car though, we gotta get back to the police department. And I can't search from here, okay, let's start up the car. Do we have to radio in actually? Nope, okay. Let's go! A little faster than that. We'll take whatever first exit we get, I think. Depending on what it's going to be, something's gotta happen. Okay. Well, that's the furthest we can get from where we need to be. Let's crank up the gas and turn around. We're going to take the next exit. Let's slow down, slow down. Don't wanna miss this. We want to turn left right away. We need to slow it down. Get into the police department. There we go. Hopefully we can search this guy and not have to go through a save for not searching him. I mean, he was a friendly enough guy. It didn't even give me the chance to search him before I put him in the car, so... Let's bring him in here. Oh wait, no, no, let's not. Let's put our gun away first. We need the points. Love hell. No, oh, he made it in without falling over. Oh, I wanted to search him. Oh, well, I guess we probably gonna lose points for that. What do we have in here? Not much. Let's uh, talk to him. How dry am I? How wet I'll be if I don't find a place to... What can I do here? Oh, it's me. Okay, so let's... We already removed his handcuffs. Can we talk to him? Man. Oh, 
Okay. Please step over here and empty your pockets into the drawer, sir. Oh, he's very uh, helpful. I'm about ready for break bonds. Let's hurry up and get this guy behind bars. So, oh man, what are we booking this fine upstanding citizen on anyway? So, his violation is... Um, I need to turn some pages. His violation is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Two, three, one, five, two. Oh, there we go. He's taken care of. Oh, he just slid back into place there. There we go. Oh! Meanwhile, at Oak Tree Mall, Sonny's wife Marie is just getting off work. And she's apparently the only person that works at 1853. Like, seriously, no one else around. Oh! She's got a look. She's all creeped. Anything happening? Who's this? This guy's smoking. It's Afro Mullet Man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shoot. And next time on Police Quest 3, we're gonna have to go call dispatch because uh, this is not good. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching.